Good Thursday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'm your host, Service Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, we made it over the hump, and we're in the home stretch for the weekend. Of course, you have your news headlines coming up on this Thursday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Teganovich, and in today's Entertainment Spotlight, being part of my conversation with Matt Jones of True Car from this year's Los Angeles Auto Show. Enjoy today's program. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Service Webb with your Thursday headlines in national news. Rittenhouse lawyers ask judge to declare mistrial over video. Cal Rittenhouse's attorneys asked the judge to declare a mistrial even as the jury was deliberating Wednesday, saying the defense received an inferior copy of a potentially crucial video from prosecutors. The judge did not immediately rule on the request, the second mistrial motion from the defense in a week. At issue was a piece of drone video that prosecutors showed to the jury in closing arguments in a bid to undermine Rittenhouse's self-defense claim and portray him as the aggressor. Prosecutors said it showed him pointing his rifle at protesters before the shooting erupted. One of Rittenhouse's attorneys said the defense initially received a compressed version of a video and didn't get the higher quality one used by the prosecution until the evidentiary portion of the case was over. He said the defense would have approached things differently if it had received the superior footage earlier and that it is now asking for a level, fair playing field. He said the mistrial request would be made without prejudice meaning prosecutors could still retry Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse 18 is on trial on homicide and attempted homicide charges for killing two men and wounding a third with an AR-style semi-automatic rifle during a tumultuous night of protest over the police shooting of a man in the summer of 2020. He could get life in prison if convicted of the most serious charge against him. In more national news, rapper Young Dolph fatally shot at Tennessee Cookie Shop. Rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed Wednesday at a cookie shop in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, and a search is underway for the shooter, officials said. Police tweeted that no suspect information was available in the shooting, which took place at Makita's Cookies near Memphis International Airport. The tragic shooting death of a rap artist Young Dolph serves as another reminder of the pain that violent crime brings with it, Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland said in a statement. My thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. A Memphis newspaper reported that Young Dolph's cousin said the rapper had been in town since Monday visiting an aunt who has cancer and was out giving out Thanksgiving turkeys. In more national news, U.S. overdose deaths top 100,000 in one year, officials said on Wednesday. An estimated 100,000 Americans died of drug overdoses in one year and never before seen milestone that health officials say is tied to the COVID-19 pandemic and a more dangerous drug supply. Overdose deaths have been rising for more than two decades, accelerated in the past two years, and according to new data posted Wednesday, jumped nearly 30% in the latest year. President Joe Biden called it a tragic milestone in his statement as administration officials pressed Congress to devote billions of dollars more to address the problem. This is unacceptable and it requires an unprecedented response, said the director of the National Drug Control Policy. Experts believe the top drivers of overdose deaths or the growing prevalence of deadly fentanyl in the illicit drug supply and the COVID-19 pandemic, which left many drug users socially isolated and unable to get treatment or other support. In business news, U.S. stocks shuffled lower, pulling indexes further down from highs. Stock indexes shuffled lower on Wall Street Wednesday, pulling a bit further off their record heights. The S&P 500 fell 12 points, or 0.3%, to 4,689, after earlier drifting between a tiny gain and a 0.4% decline. The Dow Jones Industrial Average sank 211, or 0.6%, to 35,931, and the Nasdaq Composite lost 52, or 0.3%, to fall to 15,922. And finally, in entertainment news, Adele top Swift and musician Face Off nearly beats the Oscars. Adele attracted 10 million viewers to a busy Sunday night special where she debuted new music, facilitated a marriage proposal, and dished with Oprah Winfrey about her divorce and workout routine. The Nielsen Company said the CBS show nearly had a bigger audience than April's Oscar ceremony, and when delayed viewers are eventually figured in, will likely succeed it. Probably the two most popular musicians of the day both had weekend television spotlights to hawk new material. Taylor Swift's 10-minute performance of her song All Too Well on Saturday Night Live reached 5.8 million viewers, and the clip has already been seen more than 2.5 million times on YouTube. The Academy Awards reached 10 million viewers on the night it was televised in April. The audience increased 
to 10.7 million, adding people who saw it on tape within seven days. Sunday was strong for CBS, the late afternoon Green Bay Seattle football game, with 22.7 million viewers, was the most watched event on television all week. That helped 60 Minutes, which directly followed the football game to its biggest audience since January. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's our time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Teganovich. Mary Ellen, take it away. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. Investigate new ideas. Expand your worldview by questioning traditional beliefs. As you become receptive to the wide range of beliefs that exist in our world, you expose yourself to new ideas, thoughts, cultures, and even foods. This provides you with a greater awareness of the world around you. It is this new awareness level that allows you to question your beliefs and values. Even though it may seem like turning away from the traditional is not something you can or want to do, this questioning behavior helps you to progress further on your life journey. When you truly inquire and mix ideas from other world views, you can come to a realization of the values, thoughts, or ideas that meet your own needs. Today, investigate new ideas and enjoy the day. Matt Jones of True Cars featuring today's Entertainment Spotlight right here on Conversation Daddy News. For Conversation Daddy News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Matt Jones of True Car joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show from the Los Angeles Auto Show to discuss this year's newest model and the new technology. Here's a bit of our conversation. I know people, you know, are looking for all, all, all of the details. So what trends do you expect to be able to see this year, man? Well, I think first and foremost, I think that the trends of this, this show and any other subsequent shows that we have some more is going to be about EV. EV, 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 and its effects on our future and our future mobility. Uh, I think that's where the biggest conversation is right now. Uh, it's the hottest topic, and I think it's probably... Uh, probably rightfully so because, you know, uh, you know, we all know what ICE cars are. We're all familiar with gas powered cars. Uh, but the, but, but, but there's a lot of information that isn't known about EV. So I expect that we're going to be talking a lot about that here at this show. Yeah, you're so right. I think, especially you know, with with all all the talk about you know not only being innovative but also uh, you know being able to be be great for the planet as well. Can you share some of the big reveals uh, that you're expecting, Matt, to be able to be revealed at the show? Yeah, well, I mean, I've got like you know, I'll tell you the one that I'm most excited about is actually uh, the Kia concept. It's the EV9, and it is a full size SUV, and 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 it hits on some of those things because you know we are certainly concerned about you know uh, sustainable uh, mobility solutions. And this is going to be an all-electric SUV. I'm kind of excited about it because it's going to be big. It's going to be beefy. It has all the right tech. It's going to look good. And I think this is, you know, these are the types of things that Americans are looking for when they jump into an EV, especially for people who are not quite as familiar with it. I'm really excited for that. Uh, and then for the people who are not, you know, necessarily looking for, you know, the EVs and they're not in that market yet, I'm also really excited for, for another Kia product, uh, which is the Sportage. It's a fifth-generation Sportage, which is, you know, it's in the SUV, CUV lineup, and those are really popular in our markets right now. Uh, but the reason I like this one is because it's, uh, it's bigger, which we like as Americans. Uh, it's got more power. It's going to have all the tech. Um, it, it, but what's, what's really cool is it's actually coming with increased gas mileage. And I think that's important because, you know, affordability is you know, also front and center on everybody's minds. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll have you guys on tomorrow to wrap up this week. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversation Daddy Needs today. Let's make it a great one.